Hi everyone, sorry I have to be absent today, but I want to show you how you can use what you learned about methods to create new commands for the turtle. Let's start this way. I've got my main here, which is just an existing program. Uh, I want to run it to make sure it works, so I'll right click on main and go to run as Java application. And as you can see, it just displays a line. A great way to start is to use an existing program and edit it to make your new one. So let's do that. I'll right click here on main and I'll go to copy. Then I'll left click on default package and I'll say paste. As you can see, it's uh, asking me what I want to name my new file. So I'm going to call it method example. Uh, all one word with a capital M and a capital E and click OK. So it's created a new class down here, method example, and I can double click on it and there it's an exact copy. Danger. If I run this file, it's actually still going to run main, the old one. So I have to make this thing in the quotes match the class name. So I'll replace this with method example. And now I'm ready to run it. Uh, I'm going to start by deleting everything inside of setup, but after I create the turtle. So I'm going to delete those two lines, because that's where I want to type my new code. I'm going to go ahead and paste the code that's in your handout. It's this for loop that claims that it's going to make the turtle draw a star. All right, let's run the program. I'll right click on method example and go to run as Java application. Cool, it's made a star. All right, so here's the idea. I'm going to cut that same code. I want to be able to say something like this, draw a star and I'll put parentheses because it's a method, it's a command, and parentheses are how it knows it's a command. And I want this one command to draw that same star. So how do we do that? I've got to actually define somewhere what does this command do when it runs. So the way you define commands, as you remember from the homework, is I find where is outside of setup, so I look for the place that setup closes, and right here, anywhere in here, would be a great place to start my new command. And the commands always start the same way. I'll say public, static, void, and then I'll have the name of my command. Right now, I want the name of my commands to be drawstar. And I'll have my parentheses, and then I'll have an opening curly brace. And you see when I hit enter, it automatically adds the closing curly brace for me. All right, now I'm going to paste that same code on the inside of the method. There it is. The last thing I need to do is I need to tell my method which turtle should it be using. So here inside the parentheses I'm going to say yurtle and that means I'm going to give my command this turtle as the one that I want it to use. Well here's where I'm defining what my command means. So just like I have yurtle which is a turtle inside the parentheses here, I need inside the parentheses there to create a new variable that could hold the turtle. So I'll declare the variable the same way that I did up here. When I created yurtle in the first place, I said turtle yurtle. So that's what I'll do inside here. I'll say turtle yurtle. And that creates a new variable that only exists inside my command. And it's called yurtle. And the turtle comes from here when I use the method. When I run the draw star command, I take my turtle, and that turtle gets copied inside this variable, and then that's the one that runs. All right, you see that all of the red has gone away, and so now if I run it, it should do the same thing that it did before. Great, it's drawn a star. The power of this is that I can use this command now whenever I want. So I can draw a star, then I can say yurtle.penup so that it won't leave a line behind it, and yurtle.forward by 300, and then yurtle.pen down, and now I can draw another star by saying draw star. And then as input to that command, I give it the turtle I want it to use, yurtle. So now it should draw a star, move forward a little bit, and then draw another star. It looks like it's a little bit off the screen. I can't quite see it. So let's actually move my turtle before I start any of that. Here at the very beginning, before I draw my stars, I'll say yurtle dot go to point. And I'm going to go to the point 5050, which is close to the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Let's run it. <clears throat> Let's run it again. Cool. So I hope you can see how powerful a method this is to let you organize your programs in a way that makes sense. 
If I just had a bunch of for loops, it would be confusing, but now I can actually just read it like English. I'm going to draw a star, then I'll move forward a little bit, then I'll draw another star. Check out the next video to see how we can make this draw star command more flexible by letting us draw different sized stars. Where we left off last time, we'd made the draw star command that has the turtle draw a star that looks like this. The reason it's drawing two stars is because here inside setup, I draw the star, which will jump down here, do this command, and then jump back, then go forward, then draw another star, which will jump down here, do the command, and jump back. Okay, I want to make my stars more flexible. Uh, let's, let's delete these so I'm only drawing one star for a minute. Let's make sure it works. Great, I'm drawing one star. Well, that's kind of big. I'd like to be able to control the size that my star is drawn at. So it would be nice when I give the draw star to command to be able to have an input that says like 100, which means I want to draw my star with a size of 100. Or I could say 50, and that would mean I want to draw my star with a size of 50. Well, how do we have this number be an input to the command so that it control how big the star is? Here's what your worksheet looks like. If you see the arrows here, where you define your draw star command, you can give it several variables that you create right here where you're defining it. And those variables are going to get their values from these here where you're actually using the command. So when you tell the computer to draw a star, it'll take this turtle and copy it inside that variable. It'll take the number 100 and it will copy it inside this variable. And now when your code in here runs, it will use those variables to decide what to do. Let's change the code so that it will do that. So I already have turtle yurtle here when I'm drawing star. The only other thing I need is because this is an int, I need to create a second variable in here that can hold an int. And I'll call that size. OK, so now when I run this command, 50 will get copied into size. What do I want that to control? I guess I want it to control how far forward my turtle goes at every single step, because that's going to affect the size of my star. So instead of saying 300 here, I could just say 50, which would make it smaller, but that's not very flexible, because I want it to be whatever number it is that I've typed here. So it's like I need to get this number inside my command somehow. So that's why 50 gets copied to size, and then instead of going forward 50, I'll go forward whatever number is inside here. So that means if I've run draw star with 50, the 50 gets copied to size, and that's what I use. If I type 100, that means 100 gets copied to size, and that's what I use. Let's run it a couple times and see how it works. So I'll run it with size 100. Oh, and it's much smaller. Now if I change this to 50, and I run it again, it's even smaller than that. But if I change it to 500 and I run it again, now it's quite large. So you can see this is a very flexible way that you can make very powerful commands that do different things depending on what inputs you give them. For the first part of your problem set, I want you to make a new command called draw a box. So I'm going to delete draw star. What you want is to be able to do this, draw a box, and you give it yurtle as input. And that should make Yertle draw a box, the same way that the other program made it draw a star. So in order to do this, you'll need to define your own command again, your own method. And you're going to define it in the same place as before. After setup is over, so once the closing brace has happened here, I'll enter a couple of lines, and you can start your public static void, and put your method name, and put the inputs inside the parentheses, and have your curly braces, and this is where the turtle commands go to make it draw a box. I hope this gets you off to a good start. Good luck.